Today, I want to share a tip with you that will let you customize how the AI chat responds to your prompts. By default, AI chats are conversational. So if you want to create a virtual assistant to help you with a very specific task, you'd need to give it a set of instructions. This is exactly what system instructions are for. Let me show you how it works. We'll open up Raycast by using our Raycast hotkey. In my case, it's command space. And then we'll search the AI chat command. If you're a Raycast Pro subscriber, you will then have access to this AI chat window. From here, we can start asking AI anything we want, but that we already know how it works. So what I'm going to show you is how I can use this chat to be a virtual assistant for a very specific task. So here I'm basically saying that this chat is my Spanish translator assistant. And from now on, every message I send, just reply with the translation. Now, what I want is that whatever I say in this chat, I want to get that exact same message sent back to me, but in Spanish. I don't want to have a conversation with it. All I want is a translator. So let's give it a go. Let's just say, hi, my name is Pedro. And we can see how it's translated properly. So now I'll go ahead and send another message and I'm just going to say, and yours. And now notice how instead of translating and yours, it actually thinks we're having a conversation and that's not really what we want. So we can tailor the chat to do exactly what we want by defining our system instructions. So we will go up here in this cog icon and we'll click on that. And that opens up a popover with a few options that we can configure for this specific chat. So first of all is the chat title. Um, we auto generate this title, but if you want something very specific, you can put it in here. Then there's the creativity. For this chat, I'm gonna leave it in the middle and that typically works very well for all kinds of stuff. The rule of thumb here is the very technical and factual questions require less creativity and questions where you want the chat to create stories and content for you, it would require a higher creativity. Next, we have system instructions, and this is exactly what I want to talk about today. We're going to use this field to provide the chat with the exact same instructions that we provided as the initial prompt, but as system instructions instead. So now we go ahead to our chat and we'll try again. So we say, hello, my name is Pedro, and you can see how that translated properly. And next I can say, and yours, and now it's actually doing what we want, which is just translating our messages. So this is just a simple example of how you can use system prompts to provide your chat with further instructions.